tech giant Xiaomi just clickbaited the whole entire internet again, this time with their latest, greatest renderware ever, true wireless charging, no cables, no pads, no nothing, just ubiquitous ambient power constantly beamed into all of our devices. But here is the billion dollar take all my money now question. Is it real or just really, really fake? Sponsored by Skillshare. Our phones used to need a cable just to make a call, ask your grandparents. Then they went cordless. We used to have to plug in to use the internet, ask your parents. Then we got Wi-Fi and cellular. Not too long ago, we needed a power adapter to charge. Now we have inductive pads like MagSafe and soon, maybe one day, eventually, truly wireless charging. Power just beamed straight through the air. And a lot of companies have been working on this for a long time. Rumor had it, Apple was considering a short range, truly wireless charging system for the iPhone 10, a base station like the old Airport Extreme or HomePod, but instead of Wi-Fi or computational audio, it would just radiate power. You'd leave it on your desk or your bedside table or your kitchen island, and you'd put your iPhone down somewhere in its immediate vicinity, and it would just charge. You could prioritize which of several devices you wanted to charge first and for how much, for how long before it would start shifting the power around. But what Xiaomi is teasing, and let's be 100% crystal clear, teasing is absolutely all it is right now, just a complete tech thirst trap. What Xiaomi is teasing is a huge escalation over short distance, truly wireless charging. It's room filling. Now, if you're thinking there's just gotta be a whole host of problems with this idea, you're doing the kind of thinking that's exactly right. And more on that in a charging hot minute. But what the concept renders show is a base station the size of like a beer fridge with dozens of antennas, beam forming millimeter wave, high band frequency transmissions at our phones and similar devices locked onto a U1 or similar spatial positioning beacon. So as we walk around using them, texting, gaming, browsing, watching my YouTube videos the second they drop because you are a superhero who hit that subscribe button and bell and I appreciate you just walking around and instead of the battery level draining down, it's charging up, which is a beautiful, beautiful dream, like sci-fi level cool, the way every gadget works in every movie, never running out of power at all, not unless and until it becomes critical to the plot. Now, those problems, which beyond there simply not being a real product yet, just a bunch of medium effort computer graphics, even when and if technology like this starts to ship, it's gonna be way less science fiction and way more science reality, like way less Jarvis and way more Siri for generations at least. And even though all of these radio waves have been around us humans for a long time already, and the chances of them being dangerous, like setting our cats or our crotches on fire dangerous, are about the same as the chance of them giving us superpowers, like Wanda or Captain Marvel level superpowers, which is to say wickedly, wickedly low. But actual, real, fundamental problems, like how many base stations will you need per house, per room even? Xiaomi says they can charge through obstacles, but millimeter wave is currently blocked, utterly and completely blocked by things as solid as leaves, even rain. So are they planning on ricocheting beams off multiple base stations or objects, like they're filled with tiny dude perfects or something? And what kind of heat will they generate in the device? Like what kind of power draw will the base stations require? How fast will the technology mature? Never mind the devices themselves, but how often will we need to upgrade those base stations? And what will that cost to buy, to lease? More than a $20 USB-C wall adapter, that is for damn sure. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Also, Xiaomi is talking about providing five watts of power, five watts, when and if this concept ever materializes into a reality. And that's what the rinky dinky OG iPhone charger provided. The one all of us complained about all the time being just too rinky dinky for years. It's why companies like Xiaomi started putting their chargers on Hulk serum, even breaking compatibility for proprietary plugs, even breaking the batteries down into multiple units so they could charge them more rapidly in parallel, basically putting speed ahead of every other concern, even overall battery capacity and the long-term battery health. Well, every concern but convenience, because at the same time we were complaining about wired charging speeds, we were also complaining about the lack of inductive chargers that were, yes, 
way less speedy, but just way more convenient, starting us all the way back down at five watts, only to jump that back up with even more power hungry proprietary chargers to pump out even more speed and heat. Now, one day, truly wireless for the ultimate, ultimate inconvenience, but just the opposite of that in terms of efficiency, starting, say it with me, right back at the bottom with five watts. Especially because we hear all the time about how Apple or other companies should just put twice the battery into every phone so that we get twice the battery life from every phone. But the minute those phones get an ounce heavier, we complain that those phones are just too heavy because weight, it turns out, is inextricably linked to usability. And we wanna be able to use our phones for extended periods of time doing all of that gaming, all of that texting, all of that watching my YouTube videos. And this is part of the answer to that. Phones that can stay charged effectively, limitlessly, but without having to host all of that heavy, heavy battery on board. And even beyond the rumors back in 2017, this is clearly, clearly where Apple has been headed for years. First, with the inductive charging in the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, and the ill-fated attempt at an air power charging pad, the one hindered and ultimately canceled by Apple's desire to let you charge any device, including the non-standard Apple Watch, in just any arbitrary place on the pad. But they've been pressing on with other versions, introducing MagSafe with the iPhone 12, and now, they're rumored to be considering at least one portless model for the iPhone 13, which I just did a whole entire video on, link in the description. And that'll start by leaning on MagSafe, sure, but the end game just has to be a truly wireless air power system, no mag or safe needed. For the iPhone, which pretty much everyone is fine dropping down on, or even better, dropping near a power source every so often to top it up, but for the Apple Watch, which most people wanna just keep charged for much longer without the hassle of having to take it off and charge it. And especially for future products like Apple Glasses, which will have the tiniest of batteries, but also likely our least amount of tolerance for having to take off and charge. With Xiaomi and probably Samsung and even Google prototyping it, experimenting with it right out in the open so that we can all try it and test it along with them. And Apple doing what Apple does, especially after what happened with the original Air Power and that is keeping it a secret project, prototyped and experimented and tried and tested strictly internally until they're ready to announce a commercialized mainstream version that's ready to ship that fall with the next iPhone and Apple Glasses. And while we're all waiting on that, we can learn how to do renders of our own, including Blender renders. Yeah, I said it with Skillshare, like this course from Stephen Pearson, which teaches how to create and design a modern interior just perfect for dropping your own truly wireless charging mini fridge right into. Or if the real world is more your thing, check out Christopher Rhodes' class on video on a budget so you can take your shooting game to the next level because that's the true power of Skillshare. It isn't just one class, even several classes. It's an online learning community that offers membership with meaning and with an annual subscription that's less than $10 a month. You can learn illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more with real projects to create and a support of real fellow creatives. More than 7 million of us learning with Skillshare. And the first 1,000 of you who click on the link in the description get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Totally free. Act now and start learning today. And clicking on that link really helps out this channel. For more, much more on the actual products Apple's planning to ship this year, hit the playlist above. I'm breaking down all the devices, all the features, so you can plan your purchases, know what you can skip and what you simply can't miss. So hit that playlist and I'll see you in the next video.